Okay, so this time we're going to be doing lesson five. This one is mostly about the uh, the toolbox abilities of SolidWorks. So let's go ahead and open up your switch plate toolbox assembly. And you have this, I might already have the screws in it. Uh, if that's the case, just uh, remove them over on the side so you can do the lesson properly. So this lesson introduces us to the toolbox here which basically gives you access to a very large amount of pre-made parts such as screws, bolts, stuff like that. So for this one, going to ANSI inch, uh, we already have the dimensions of the holes and all that smart dimensioned. Go to the inch, the bolts and screws, then machine screws, pick the pan crosshead one. It's this one here. You have to, you have to manually drag it in into the assembly, such as that. It does have to be an assembly, by the way. So then you have the screw. Now over here you have all the individual dimensions that you can change. Uh, so this one, the size is right, it's 632. Length, you're going to want to set this to an inch. So it looks like that. Thread length, oh that's okay, and then just hit okay. And then once you do that, you'll automatically be able to place more of whatever part you just used. So just go ahead and put another one there. <coughs> Exit out of that. And yeah, that's all there is for the for the switch plate assembly. It's a very easy one. This one. The other ones are a little bit more complicated. So just go ahead and save that. Exit that out. Now we're going to be doing the bearing block assembly. So go ahead and open that up right here. <coughs> this one requires, first you need to use, first you'll need some washers. Go, ahead and go into the toolbox here. Instead of going to bolts and screws, go down to washers. Plain washers. You go to preferred narrow flat washer type A, that would be this one. And go ahead and drag those to the holes there. And set this to 3 8 which is what it's already set to. And that's, yeah, you don't actually have to change much for that one. Go ahead and place another one down. There you go, there's your washers. Now, you're going to want to go back to the bolts and screws. <coughs> and machine screws again. This time, though, you're going to want a hex screw, which is this one here. It's more for uh, wrenching and stuff like that. It's for size, 3 8 20 8 that's right. The length, you're going to have to, I believe, adjust yourself. It's, I don't remember exactly what it is. I think it's like 1, we'll go for like 1 and a quarter. There we go. And just go ahead and put the other one in there. And then there's that. It goes on and talks about thread display. Usually, when you uh, when you insert components, there's no you don't see the threads just because that's something that's implied. It's usually only for when uh, for special specially made ones. Now you can also a really cool feature of this program is you can go to section view. Go ahead and hit right face, and then set the offset distance to three point four one. Five. Well, you can just drag it to your liking, but then that basically allows you to, to act as if you cut the uh, cut your model open and take a look at what's inside. And you can kind of you can you can you can drag it and all that stuff. It's pretty cool. So that d and it doesn't affect the assembly itself in any way. So now that we're done with that, that's the. That's basically the bearing block assembly there. Now for the last one, we go to the bearing plate assembly right here. This one does take a little bit more effort. Uh, first we have to add washers to the inside here, I believe is where these go. Go to the washers, the same washers I used last time, preferred narrow flat washer type A. Right there, make sure it's set to 3 8 Okay, do another one there. 
then you're going to want to go to the lock washers. These ones are going to go on this side here. Spring lock, I believe. Yeah. The spring lock, and then go to the regular spring lock washer. Put that down there. It's already set to 3 8 Set down another one. Now you got the washers on this side and the spring lock washers on the other side. Now, uh, let's see. Now you're going to want to add one inch machine screw. The pan across uh, machine screws. Pan cross, and you're going to want to put them on, on the inside. Yeah, you're going to want to put them on over here. Put them in there like that. Set to three eight uh, inch length. Go. Insert another one there. And now, see as you can see, you can't see the the threads on the screw. But and then for the last part, go ahead and go to the hex nuts, bolts and screws, put in nuts, hex hex nuts here, and then just the uh, regular old hex nuts. Uh, go ahead and put that on there like that. It's 3.8. All that's right. Okay. I'm set another one down. And there we go. You're all done with that. It's a really easy lesson. Doesn't involve a lot of work, but the toolbox is a really useful, really useful function of SolidWorks. So.